Hello, welcome back to tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So, day 10 will take us to the 13th of July and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Essential Affairs and ECM Ensembles. Maybe one to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2, of course, at the end of the video. And that uh, gets us to the end of July. I'll get to that for you in a moment. Just to say uh, that the first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content so to everyone for doing that for gas weather there thank you so much love that so much everyone right okay we're gonna start off with the national hurricane center uh today so we've got a disturbance area potentially off the coast of florida of course we're very early in the uh 2025 hurricane season for the Atlantic, but uh, this is Disturbance 1 with a 60% a sixty chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. So there's only a low risk in the next two days, 20% uh, 20, 20 uh, chance of cyclone formation, but in the next seven days, you've got a 60% chance that could become a named tropical storm or hurricane or tropical feature will keep you updated. I say very, very early days uh, for that, but uh, time will tell. Uh, right, okay, so latest weather that from Earth, Nullschool.net showed that the Azores High is ridging just to the southwest of the country, pushing northeast towards with low pressure in the North Atlantic. So, going to have a bit of north south split for the next couple of days. Low pressure will bring some uh, unsettled conditions into the north and west. But further south, we should see a lot of dry weather. There could be some rain into the weekend down in the south. But I think a lot of it is going to be focused on the north, actually. Sanctioning temperature remains at 22.4, about 6.4 degrees above 61 to 99 average. Your provisional for the first day of the month. We'll update you on that tomorrow. These are the GFS upper air temperature amplification ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature. Average of London starting off around to slightly below average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They're going to lift up into the weekend, but it's associated with low pressure. So, um, a warm sector basically coming up from the uh, Atlantic and then cooling into the early part of next week but later next week our air temperatures are really taking off it looks like our next hot spell is um, you know developing there into the second week of uh, July and up to the middle and possibly into the second half of the month. And again, as saw yesterday, there are some very, very, very hot outliers, some of them going up to 20 degrees or more at 850 HPA. If we get those sort of upper air temperatures surging northwards from uh, North Africa, then we're going to get temperatures well into the mid to upper 30 Celsius. However, might not get that hot. You can see that the ensemble image of the white line is a little bit more sensible. It certainly looks like it's going to be getting uh, much warmer again into the second week of the month, and that will become the focus of the videos, I suspect, over the next few days. Temperature anomalies for the next soul. Well, precipitation wise, <laughs> better just speak about that, haven't we? So, precipitation wise, uh, we're well, not much actually. Some showery bursts over the weekend. Dry before that for London, dry after that, and pretty dry even into the second half of the month. Right, okay. Temperature anomalies <laughs> for the next five days up to the 8th of July. That's a little bit below average for northern and western areas, slightly above further south and east, but 10 to 14 day. Looks like that much warmer than hot for England and Wales. That gets us to the 17th of July. Precipitation anomalies take seven days up to the 10th of July. Most areas drive an average, but west of an average for Western Scotland. Uh, B8 to 14 day, largely dry of an average. So the trend further into July definitely definite looks like a hotter and drier one. Right, let's start going for the chart day to end. Miss Elba Latest UK Mate, you're a run. Looking for big night on Sunday. Showery and rather cool northwesterly winds. Those northwesterly north winds continue into the start of next week. Then later next week, here comes the Azores High into to ridge back up from the southwest. So by next Thursday, mostly dry and warm under that area of high pressure. Icon again, looking rather cool and showery through the weekend to the beginning of next week. Then we have high pressure to the south. Low pressure is uh, to the north as we go into middle next week. So, again, mostly dry down the south, quite warm. A little bit more showering 
up in the north. The KMA, again, rather cool and showering to the beginning of next week before the extension from the Azores High begins to show its hand, forming an area of high pressure over to the east of the country as we approach day 10. That will start to drag in some much warmer and or hotter air uh, from the east. That's how look we get to the end of the KMA run. So a nice reach from the Azores to Scandinavian high. That is summer back big time into the middle part of July. That will be mostly dry, very warm, possibly hot. And um, settled conditions there with that large ridge from the Azores to Scandinavia. And then the GFS midnight run. Again, it's a little bit cool and showery for the early part of next week before high pressure strengthens. For the middle part of next week, brings a lot of dry and warm weather. Check this out on the extreme left of the chart and screen as you're looking at it. That could well be the uh, feature we started uh, this video talking about off the coast of Florida, possible tropical development. That looks suspiciously like. Uh, a tropical development in the North Atlantic there by the 11th of July. So, uh, well, the effect of that is kind of weak on the ridge, really. So as we go toward day 10, we're in a, in a westerly flow, a little bit on the showering side. And then high pressure again builds up from the south as we go to day 10, bring a lot of dry and warm weather with it. That's how we look as we get to the 19th of July, as far as we go to the day GFS run. Uh, again, high pressure just centred out to west. A lot of dry and warm weather on offer there uh, with shorter showering interruptions. This is the 6 m by comparison. Again, rather cool and showery through the early part of next week. Then the Azores high strengthening as we go to the second half next week, bring a return of mostly dry and warm weather weakens a little bit around day 10 and 11. A little bit cooler, a little bit more showery then. Uh, and then high pressure really strengthens into the second half of the month. A big high pressure over and to the east country, pulling up a southerly southeast wind, turning hot then into the second half of the month. Check out the upper air temperatures with GFS 6 then. By the end of it, by the 19th of July, plus 20 Celsius iceberg is pushing uh, northwards, and yes, that could deliver temperatures into the mid to upper 30 Celsius. Bear in mind, that's two weeks away, both, so <laughs> it's a really long way out. May not verify, but I've seen from the ensemble graph there, there are several ensemble members of the GFS suite going for that kind of uh, level of heat. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of my videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Boys. Get to subscribe to Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. And um, we need to put around 60 subscribers, I think it is, to get ourselves to uh, 20.5k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM again with a northwesterly flow on Sunday. Rather showering and a little bit on the cool side. That carries on to Monday and Tuesday. The high pressure strengthens to the south southwest through Wednesday and Thursday, bring a lot of dry and warm weather with it. Up to day 10, a bit of a thundery look to uh, the gem, actually. There's some quite hot air coming up from the south, but with a thundery low to the southwest. So, turning hotter, but also thundery through that middle weekend of July the 12th and 13th. And then the ECM rounds it all off. Rather cool and showery to begin next week. High pressure strengthening to the south southwest later next week, bringing a lot of dry, warm weather there. Still a little bit on the cool and showery side further north. That's day 10, so it's still very warm in the south southeast. Then on the 13th of July, a little bit more showering, slightly cooler further north and northwest. And again, that high pressure is in control and in the ascendancy to the third week of July as well. Mostly dry, very warm down in the south. Could be a little bit more showering further north and west. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibetia.com. So some wet weather into the north and the west coming southwards into the weekend, but petering out by the look of it as it does so. But it could be a little bit of rain in the south and the southeast over the weekend. That would be useful for the gardens. Uh, next week, well, it starts off a bit showery, then turns drier as the week progresses, really, especially in the south. Some rain still for Scotland and Ireland, though. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 13th of July. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to our south and east. Low pressure is out to the northwest, and we're drawing up a very warm southerly southwesterly 
There, so looking mostly dry and hot, particularly for south. 16 with uh, high pressure south, low pressure to the north. A little bit more unsettled for the north, mostly dry down in the south, though. And then we've got uh, 15 with high pressure over back to the east coast. This is the hottest option. This will be bringing the wind up from a southerly southeasterly uh, direction. So um, that's the most settled and, uh, you know, hottest option. Could be really quite hot with that. In two weeks time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 18th of July. Um, so 27 members of the ECM on sites with high pressure for either north and west of Europe, mostly dry and warm or very warm. And 24 with high pressure over the country, more or less. A little bit of influence from the Atlantic into the far north of Scotland there. But again, the emphasis is on a lot of dry and warm, very warm, potentially hot weather, both at day 10. And day 14 there, blimey. Well, CFS B2 finally beats the 500 millibar height to nominees, and they broke it down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 3rd through to the 9th of July, but next week with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, all looking a bit flat and westerly, warmest, driest weather is into the south there. Week 2 will be the 10th of the 16th of July. Again, high pressure over and just to the east of the country, we bring up that southerly flow. Very warm, potentially hot. With that, that could be a, a heat wave again. And then week three will be the 17th, 23rd of July. High pressure still dominating the scene. A week four rounds it all off. It's the uh, 24th to the 30th of July. High pressure again in the Atlantic. A little bit of westerly flow. No, you know, it could be a little bit cooler then. Uh, but uh, still really high pressure is in control. Again, so I keep explaining, these are weekly anomalies. So uh, we're not going to get like every single day there. We would have thought we would with high pressure. Uh, there will be day-to-day -day variation. But when you average out the anomaly for the week and then, you know, multiply that by four, then uh, that's how it comes out with a lot of high pressure. So it does look as though this July is setting up to be a very anti-cyclonic one, warm and dry overall. But as ever, we'll see. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know. What do you think about this and all of our videos and content? Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Love Is and get them. Just go to thank such a one for doing that. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Jamie Friday and a 10 to 14 day or two. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all now. And thanks for watching.